Hey there, so I've just got a, a video to talk through basically how to configure um, your documents that you send to your clients. So quotes, invoices, um, supplier invoices if necessary, and uh, also if you are sending out orders to one of your suppliers. And for the purposes of showing you how this works, I'm going to work with this, this job here, New House Build. And uh, just with a quote that I've put together previously, just under quotes. So I'll go into quotes here open this one up and uh, talk you through kind of how this works. So the uh, what I'm going to talk through is, is the print options. It's, it's how it's actually displayed to whoever you're sending this document to. And it's important to note when you're looking at any document like a, a quote or an invoice in next minute, this area that you see here is not necessarily what your customer sees. This is your working ground. This is where you add items, make adjustments to descriptions, the section title, the section description itself, header, footer notes. Uh, it's where you see all of your workings, um, you know, for, for your quotes or your invoices and stuff. Under the view options on the side here, there's also the uh, option to show a discount column if you need to apply a discount to any of these individual items if you need to. Now, working with the items on the quote, um, if you want to select individual items, to you know apply certain rules to so if I go to selected items you can set markup or copy them to another section that kind of thing or if you want to bulk select you can you can do those options um, you know, individually via selected items that's not what we're going to what we're going to focus on what we want to look at is customer facing versions of this particular quote and I've got a few examples open so I'll open one up here and this is the first option that um, you know uh, quote I've done with some options which is a highly detailed version. So you'll see preliminaries as, as the section title. Then it says name, description. I've got an item name and description there with quantity, the units, the uh, unit price individually, and the amount. So you'll see how that kind of stacks up as I scroll through here with those different sections. This is quite a highly detailed quote. And um, in some respects, you might want to deliver a quote looking like this to a client. Other times, you might want to simplify things a bit. So if I go to the next option open, this one here, you'll see that it says preliminaries, but unlike the previous one, it doesn't have the details below, but it still has the price, as you see there, 3769. Ribraft, however, does have the detail below it, and in the other sections, everything's hidden. As you can see, it's just got the overall price. Then further to that, there's another option here. This one here is preliminaries. With the, op uh, with the items below hidden, and it shows rib raft, but just the item name and the total amount per line item. Okay, so the difference is there between these two. This one has quantity, the units, the individual unit price and the amount. The next one across just has the total amount per line item. So if you want to, for example, deliver a quote to somebody, you don't want to show too much detail because you don't want them to take that away and go get a quote somewhere else. It might pay to just kind of change some of those details on your customer facing version like we see here. And finally, on this quote here, we've actually hidden all line items and just got a total price for each of those individual elements of the quote. Now, how do we get there? It's actually very easy. I'll go back to the next minute system here. And uh, basically what you want to do is when you've got a document together, which has got all of your details on it, you want to go to Preview and Send, and then to Print Options. So the print options for your quotes, so your invoices, supplier invoices, is what your customer or maybe your supplier, if it's a if it's an order, actually sees at their end. And you'll see these um, headers here, preliminaries, rubber framing hardware, and so on and so forth. They kind of reflect what's on the quote here. So these will be different depending on the quotes you're putting together. And to make changes on what your customer sees, you just click on it, and then you've got a few options, the printing options. Now, with the way it's set up at the moment, I've chosen to hide all line items. So it's going to appear like this. There's no line items, just the title and the price. If I want to actually show some items, I can untick that, and there's more options that show up, and it says columns to hide when printing. So I might want to hide the name, might want to hide the quantity, um, I'm going to hide the units, but I'm going to have the, uh, the, the total sale price amount. Um, then it gives you the option to apply it to just this section, 
or apply to all sections if I want to and also set as a default for the future. So one thing about this is you don't have to do it every time you put a document together. If you've got a standard way of working in your business and a standard amount of items that you actually want to display, then you can set this as a default, set and forget, and it's always going to apply to future documents. After this, just go done. I'll save that for all quotes. Cool, and then I'll apply that. And then I will make sure to save this document here. And I'll do another preview and just show you what that looks like now. So I believe I'm choosing to show the line items. I'm choosing to um, hide most of the columns though. Yeah, and there we go. So we've got all of that detail, the, the, uh, the description of the item. The individual unit price and the total amount doesn't show the quantities or anything though, so of course you can make all of the adjustments there. Now if you want to download any of these documents, just the little download button there, go download as PDF, and I'll open this up in a separate window just so you can see what this looks like. It's always a good idea to do this before you send a document to somebody to see exactly what they receive as a PDF. So there we go. Now just remember that this, uh, the same print options I've just talked you through, apply to quotes, invoices, supplier invoices, and any orders. So hopefully it's been useful, and uh, if you wanted to send a document off from here, once you're ready, go to send, and of course just choose who you're sending it to. Hopefully it's been useful, stay tuned for more videos. Cheers.